Hello. Let me start by saying there are many, many, many ways to start and make a PowerPoint. To do the slides, to use a template, to adjust the content on a screen. Um, there are hundreds. I'm going to go over one way, but if you're more comfortable with another, please feel free to do it. Let me also say that if you're thoroughly unfamiliar with PowerPoint, you really need to refer to the book. This presentation will not help you learn PowerPoint from absolute scratch. So if you start a PowerPoint and you know it's a totally unfamiliar landscape, uh, go to your book. It's very, 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 very helpful for this. Now what I'm going to do first is add a title and then create a few slides to start working with. Now I'm going to add a few slides. As I said, there are about 10 different ways to do this. What I'm just going to do is go to hit enter. Go right below this previous slide and hit enter. And I'm going to start with three slides. I'm not going to do the whole, the whole project, just enough to get you started. What I want to show you in this presentation is how to add a screenshot and a label for it and accompanying text. Since we're work working with Microsoft Word, I'll open Microsoft Word. Now I want to get a picture of the Find, Edit, Go To. Once I have it up, all I do is hit Print Screen on my keyboard. What that did was it took a picture of my screen and put it on my clipboard. Now if you go to PowerPoint and you hit Paste, it pops up right there. Let me close these other boxes here. Now when I click it, I can adjust the size by controlling the corner and I can crop it. The picture toolbar should come up. If not, go to view, view toolbars picture. Click the crop tool, size it down, and then you just tweak it a little bit. By cropping, click off, and resizing. Whoops, that's the crop tool. Got to get off the. Click the crop tool off, and then resize it. And there's a picture of the Find Replace tool. Now I'll add some text. And now from your toolbar at the bottom, usually the drawing toolbar, you can even add a little arrow. Double click it, and you can increase the size and change the color. You might think you need to show on Word, get a screenshot of actually going to edit, find, replace, or go to. That's fine. This is just one example of how to do this project. Let's crop this a little bit better. Click on a picture. Go to View, Toolbars, Picture, Crop. I want to get some of this extra text out of here. There you go. Then actually, you can put a border around it. And 
And what's nice sometimes is a little drop shadow. I can even put drop shadow on here too. Oops, that doesn't look so good. Control Z undoes it. So we'll leave the shadow off the text. Sometimes if you have a text box, it'll shadow that. Let's get rid of the bullet point. And now let's see how it looks in this presentation. That looks pretty good. I wanted to give you the building blocks to do this assignment. Once you learn how to make a screenshot and format it on your page well, the rest is pretty easy. Uh, it's just repeating the process and using your own common sense and knowledge about the tool, and that comes from learning it from your book, practicing with it, to do a, have good pick good content. One thing I added as an extra extra credit is adding narration. If you go to slideshow, record narration. PowerPoint will go through your slide, your slideshow, and if you have a microphone, you could add voice to each slide. It'll zip it up as one file, and then when a viewer watches it, there'll be audio accompanying it, like this little video I'm using. I'm using a program called Camtasia, but I have in past classes used PowerPoints with audio. They're very effective and very helpful. So if you feel like experimenting with it uh, and trying it out, it's very, very interesting. The other thing I ask you to do is for the slide transition, have it on mouse click. Don't do it automatically after. I think that's a little annoying when someone's reading something and it, it, on their own and it clicks and it clicks automatically. Uh, you could change different transitions here also. What I'd also ask is just that you be judicious about the custom animation. Custom animation defines how items come whizzing in or whizzing out or come in with machine gun clicks or swish sounds or come swirling in. Uh, that can get a little tedious if you see a lot of these and use your own discretion and good taste. You don't want to overwhelm somebody with it. One of the keys, and this is in a rubric, is that the style and content should be seamlessly complement each other. A uh, person shouldn't be overwhelmed with the bells and whistles of the presentation. So good luck. Email me or post if you have any questions.